When you fill a glass of water, you probably don't ponder where the clear liquid came from. Yes, it flows from a faucet, but originally, it came from a cloud. Clouds are the mechanism that transport water from the oceans and through evaporation back into the land and form our lakes and rivers and our water aquifers. Water evaporates from oceans, lakes, and land. The moisture rises, then cools to form clouds. When the clouds become heavy with water, they drop it back to Earth as snow or rain. Most of the satellites that orbit the Earth look at the top of the clouds and they tell us where the top of the clouds are. And of course, from the bottom of the Earth, we can see the bottom of the clouds, but we don't know what's in between. We're missing the detailed information. That determines what effect the cloud is going to have in whether it's going to precipitate, whether it's going to give us rain, whether it's going to give us snow, whether it's going to have a net heating effect on the planet or a net cooling effect on the planet. NASA's CloudSat will attempt to answer these questions from space. For the first time, scientists will be able to see clouds in 3D. This is the first time we will see snowfall from space. We will know for the very first time globally what percentage of clouds produce rain. We will know for the very first time how much water, how much ice is locked up in clouds. CloudSat will share its ride into orbit with another NASA satellite, the Cloud, Aerosol, LiDAR, and Infrared Pathfinder Satellite Observations, known as Calypso. Once in space, the two will hop aboard the A-Train. Well, the A-Train is a set of satellites that will follow each other in orbit and take data. The A-Train will provide the most comprehensive observations of Earth's atmosphere ever obtained, and CloudSat will do its part to watch over one of our most precious resources. Everyone in the world is worried about oil right now, right? We don't have enough oil. The oil supply is going to run out. What about our water supply? So the next time you pour yourself a glass of water, remember. The water that you have in a glass of water in front of you, you take it for granted. It didn't come from a tap. It came from a cloud. 